What's up everyone, Kyle here from Colossus Fitness, gonna walk you through how to do a proper glute pull through. Let's jump right into it. So the first step here is making sure that it's all the way as far down as it can go. You wanna start off by grabbing a rope attachment, and once you do, start off with a light weight you can comfortably handle. Now, I like to have my thumbs over top here. I just find it's more comfortable than holding it like this. So my thumbs here, I'll take a couple steps forward, okay? Starting with my chest up, my legs nice and wide apart, and all you're gonna do is simply pull, push your hips back, pretend there's a wall behind you and you have to hit your glutes to the wall. So what it's gonna look like is this. Back, 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 and then boom, squeeze all the way through, okay? Keep pushing your hips back, keeps your hips back, squeeze, okay? I'll show you a couple more reps. It's an amazing exercise to target the glutes. You keep a slight bend in the knees, drag your hips all the way back, keep your chest all the way up once you lock out, and really just squeeze your glutes within each rep. Now, one of the biggest issues is there's a lot of mistakes that take place with this, and I find when you learn what not to do, it allows you to learn what to do properly. So, without further ado, I'm gonna jump into a bunch of common mistakes. Before we jump into the common mistakes, the first link down below is a free 68 page ebook that will get sent right to your email. All you have to do is just put your email in, there's no strings attached, and it's a personal trainer in your pocket. So if you can see on the screen, there's a bunch of different exercises that will help you out. You can pull out your phone and just see at any given point how to do the exercise properly, and you will absolutely love it. So first mistake is improper positioning. So I had mentioned when you're doing this, you wanna take quite a few steps out, now the issue is, very often when people start, they start here and they'll just take like one small step forward and then they'll go back and then it just hits the machine and you're not gonna get a full range of motion. So you're really just like not doing a whole lot here and then sometimes people will walk way too far forward and then this unfortunately is just kind of uncomfortable and it start to pull you in different ways. So that's why my biggest recommendation here when you're doing this is just to take a few nice steps forward Check the weight there, that's looking good. And then get to the point where when you push back, it's almost gonna touch there, but it's not exactly gonna touch the weight stack. So positioning is very important to allow yourself to leverage properly, and it is a great way to do it, but you also have to pay attention and see what works and what feels the most comfortable. And common mistake number two is not allowing the weight to pull you all the way back. That's a huge part of the movement that you're missing out on. And by doing it properly, it allows you to get those glutes on fire. The stretch is absolutely fantastic. And that's where a lot of the muscle is built. And that's where you stimulate the muscle fibers in the glutes. So make sure you avoid making this common mistake of missing out on that bottom portion, that big stretch at the very end. I see this happen way too often. Common mistake number three is just simply not hinging properly. And I find a lot of times people round their back and they just do this very uncomfortable movement, which is definitely is not ideal. You really wanna make sure you're keeping a straight line within your back at all times, which will allow you to have proper posture, proper movement patterns. So make sure you avoid rounding your back and just doing an improper hinge here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, make sure to grab your free form guide first link down below. You will not regret it. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace out.